When it comes to buying a car, sadly, we are on our own. Our ignorance is their bliss. That's how they make the most out of us. As for the dealerships, they have their targets. There's cars that they need to be pushing out of their dealership at certain prices. When it comes to the lenders or when it comes to the financial institutions, they want to be charging the maximum interest rate so that they can make more money. And also when it comes to the insurance companies, they want to be giving you the highest rate so that they can make the most money. So that is why it is important to be informed with the right decision when you are going to be buying yourself that new car or that used car i've made my own fair share of mistakes when it comes to buying a car and i want to share some of these mistakes with you so that you can avoid them when you do buy your next car so firstly never say that you want to pay a deposit don't get there and say that you have this much that you are willing to spend as a deposit first assess first see how much they are pricing you for the car first wait for them to be giving you those discounts on the car because sometimes your deposit doesn't really move the needle i remember with my for series when i bought it i said i'm going to pay the deposit and i regretted it because the way they were structuring it it was not in my favor two don't get to the dealership and say how much you want to pay per month that is not how you are supposed to do it because when you get there and say how much you want to pay per month they might give you a deal which doesn't have everything that you want plus you are still paying the highest interest rate or you find that they are expecting you to pay a high deposit or there is a huge balloon at the end of the transaction so you want to be careful don't get there and say that this is how much you want to be paying that doesn't mean that you'll get the most value out of your car transaction three don't complete the offer to purchase while you are still shopping for a car only complete the offer to purchase once you are sure that this is the car that you want to buy because when you complete the offer to purchase they even now go and pull out a credit report and that appears as a hard inquiry on your credit report which lowers your credit score so you don't want to find that you shop at six places and then there's like six hard inquiries on your credit report it reflects bad on you only make sure that it is done once once you have finalized or once you are sure that this is the dealership that you are going to be purchasing from or this is the financial institution that it will be responsible for financing your car number four not involving someone who knows about cars so if you are going to be buying that second-hand car you want to make sure that you go with someone who is so clued up on the cars because you might find that that second-hand car it's already coming with issues that you might not be able to identify with the naked eye so if you are going to be test driving with someone who knows about cars they'll be able to see if this car has some mechanical issues I remember when my husband bought his Hyundai Tucson from the Hyundai dealership. He trusted them because it's coming from Hyundai only to discover now when we wanted to be trading in that car they say that this car has been involved in an accident they were showing us that here is the spray paint to show and you could also see that the drive was so bad on that particular car and there's so many other things that were not working right on the car but had he gone with someone who is so clued up with cars they would have advised him that maybe this car is not really a good buy Number five, not doing your own research in terms of the car that you want to buy. You are just relying on the salesperson. So these days, it's so easy to get um, reviews on cars. You can check out uh, many YouTube videos about the cars. There's so much information that you can get before you even go to the dealership. So make sure that it is the car that you want. I remember when I ended up buying myself the white for service in 2016. That's not the car that I was looking for. But when I got there... The, uh, the salesperson convinced me to buy that particular car because why they had targets that they had to be meeting and that car had been on the floor for like close to a year so they wanted to be pushing out to someone who can afford so you want to make sure that you know exactly what car you want before you even go there because if you go without knowing they will convince you otherwise
Number six, not negotiating the price. So don't just take up the first price that they give you. Negotiate for the price. Negotiate for a discount. And you can even go to other dealerships and see how much they are willing to give you. At least save yourself some money. Number seven, not negotiating the time. So you want to make sure that the interest rate that you are going to be getting is as low as possible. So in South Africa, there's something called prime so if they're charging you something like prime plus three i believe that is very expensive don't go for such a deal and also when it comes to a fixed interest rate don't go for a fixed interest rate because when the interest rates go down you are not getting the benefit of that you want to go for a variable interest rate so if you can get a prime or prime minus or whatever is applicable in your country go for that try to negotiate for the lowest possible because what i've noticed is that dealerships they like to work with certain banks that pay them a higher commission so it doesn't mean that the bank that's willing to finance you might be the cheapest so it's also good to do your own shopping and if you know that the bank that you are shopping with will give you the lowest then maybe ask them to finance the car rather than the bank that's working with the dealership number eight not calculating the monthly cost of the car so you know with a car it's not only just the installment there's also insurance when it comes to it there's also the fuel when it comes to it so you want to make sure that you'll be able to afford the fuel of this car the insurance of this car and also if the tires happen to break down or something happens i remember with my first series it was a run flat and those tires they kept on getting like a, a tire puncture and the cost to replace them was just so stressful it was just so expensive so you really want to know what you are getting yourself into number nine not taking the best buying option for you so you know when it comes to buying a car you can even um finance the car the inst as an installment sale agreement there is like also a leasing option you don't always have to take up the installment sale agreement you can even take up a leasing option or sometimes depending on your own situation you can be buying the car cash that is why you also just want to check out the video where i compared the different uh buying options when it comes to buying a car so that you know which one is right for you number 10 not shopping for cheaper insurance so when your car is still at the dealership they are going to charge you a very very high insurance premium but after the car is with you it's in, it's in your position they are going to be charging you less so you want to shop around for cheaper insurance don't just settle with the insurance that you get after you come out of the dealership so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out more of my other videos stay blessed